My name is Kristen. I'm from VI Book Crate, and this is a parent video for How to Capture an Invisible Cat by Paul Tobin. So our two main characters are Nate Bannister and Delphine, and they become friends during the story. Um, at the beginning of the story, Nate and Delphine actually do not know each other very well. They are not friends, but throughout the course of this crazy, crazy day, they become really good friends. And it's a really great story of adventure and friendship and inventions and all sorts of things like that. Every Friday the 13th, Nate Bannister, who is a super kid genius, gives himself an excuse to do three stupid things. And on this particular Friday the 13th, he turns his regular cat Proctor into a gigantic invisible cat. To make things even more difficult, he hides the formula to turn Proctor back to regular size and back to visible, he hides it all over the city on different people and in different places and him and Delphine need to find all of the clues to the formula to turn Proctor back and they need to do it before the nemesis of Nate, the Red Death Tea Society. They have been trying to recruit Nate because he's so smart to join them in taking over the world but Nate sees it as his duty to protect the world from them and refuses to join them. So while this is all happening, um, the giant invisible cat is running rampant through the streets, destroying their town. So not only do they have to find the formula and all of that, they need to outwit the Red Death Tea Society, they also need to save their town from being destroyed. Throughout the story, I don't want to give too much away because it's actually a really good read, but really what we got here is a high intensity, high action packed, really fast moving story where these two kids here are on a mission to do all of these amazing things and to save the town and turn the cat back to normal and outwit the Red Death Tea Society and save their friends um, from the Red Death Tea Society. So I suggest you read it, read it with your kids. It's super fun and it's really fast and really exciting. There are really no red flags for me in this book. It's very clean and exciting. Um, really, there is a little bit of crushing between the two main characters, but I found it really um, age appropriate because they can tell that they kind of like each other more than friends, but they don't really know what to do with it. And they're still friends, so it, it, I don't know. I thought it was a really cute dynamic and it was really more realistic to kids in that 11, 12 age group when they start liking boys or liking girls and things like that. So that was really it. Um, other than the Red, Death, the Red Death Tea Society is trying to kill them. So that, I mean, if kids, they don't succeed. Let me just say that. So there's a little bit of violence in that way and that there's like a car chase and some crazy robot things and I don't know, like contraptions that are trying to, um, capture them and things like that so there's that intensity but it's kind of done in a way that it's not scary so all in all this book I highly suggest it I highly rate it five out of five stars they get up to antics in some sequels and stuff like that so if your kids liked it there's other books like it so I'm gonna give you a quick walk through what was in the box so our box was called catastrophe because really the whole day was a giant catastrophe everything is listed on the back so in the box First thing we have is an atom ball. So it's super bouncy, super fun, really colorful. The reason this was included is because Nate turns the formula almost into a molecular small little thing in that invisible ink pens, self-explanatory. There is a balloon helicopter. We do have a little tutorial video on that that Eden shared with everybody. So there's a balloon helicopter because at one point Nate, had, one of his invention is a little belt that they put on that makes them fly into the air to get right away from the bad guys. Nerds, because this is the perfect treat for a super genius. Your bookmark with some funny little jokes. VI Book Crate pin, the book. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I found this was a fantastic box and a fantastic book. So thank you very much.